one of the good Linux distributions to have a look at, because it, it just works, is Linux Mint. This one is Linux Mint 22 Beta, based on Cinnamon. Let's have a look at it. Ordinarily, I would do this on physical hardware, but today I'm, I'm doing it in a VM, and that's because I seem to have run out of mice. I've got one on my audio recording workstation over there, and that's the mouse that I would ordinarily use on my testing PC, on my test bed. It's not available today, so we're going to do it in a VM. It shouldn't make too much of a difference. So let's jump in and have a look. I'm at the bootloader, so let's boot it up and see what happens. As I say, Linux Mint, things just usually work, which is great. Now, I suspect because it's a VM, it'll be a bit slower. You get what you're given, I guess. Oof. Now, doesn't like the resolution of my VM. So let's change that straight away. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, maybe it'll be a bit better once we've installed it. Let's get it installed. Cable unplugged. Best time I have a look at that while I'm waiting. Actually, let's get it installed. English, UK. Yeah, we'll install the media codex. Advanced features. I'm not going to encrypt it. There's no need. It's a VM. Uh, we're not in New York, are we? We in London, sort of. Nah, just log in automatically. There we go. Network's back. <laughs> I remember when I got my test bed, I, I stopped using Hyper-V, so I, I got rid of all the default switches and, and stuff like that. I just stopped using it. Obviously, I'm using it again. Never mind. From memory, this usually takes about five minutes. Of course, because this is using the default Hyper-V switch, it's only internal network, so I'll have to change that in a moment. So one would assume no internet traffic. Could be wrong. Interesting. Okay. What I'm interested to find out about this is whether it can run Caden live because from what I've seen, Caden Live is the most feature-rich NLE for Linux, Unix, Unix-like operating systems. So I want to see if that actually runs on this. Caden Live being a KDE application, of course. And this is based on Cinnamon. From what I remember, it should work. You do get quite a lot on the live CD. Which is good, it means you can give it a good evaluation before actually doing anything. Almost finished copying files, well, thanks for the update. Ooh, Discord. Link to my Discord server, down below by the way. Gotta get a new graphics card. God oh dear, the list of things I need is growing. SAS to SATA breakout cable, discs, some SSDs, a graphics card. There was something else I needed. I've got to figure out where I'm going to put this new server that's coming. Can't go in here, can it? Be too noisy. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll put it in my bedroom. I'm sure the wife will love that. Well, we'll come back when this is done, because this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Alright, so it's finished installing. Let's uh, let reboot it. Let's see what happens. That looks good. And don't show that again. And don't show that again. Yeah, we'll come back to that in a minute. I want to get this desktop display changed. <laughs> Interesting. Let's um, just check something. Okay, so I need to find the line starting with grub command line Linux default and add that to it. Okay, so where is that? Let's have a look. Pseudo nano etc default grub let's have a look 
have a look at it. Quiet splash. And let's put this in. Video equals H Y P E R V underscore F B nineteen twenty by ten eighty. F B colon nineteen twenty ten eighty. Control X. Pseudo update grub. See what happens. I got a funny feeling this is going to have stopped it from working. What do you reckon? I might have to come back to this. I wonder. I wonder. Can I? Because I don't think I started it. SSH into it. Probably not. Because I don't even know what the IP address is. So what didn't it like about that? Clearly doesn't like something. All right, let's do 1280. Let's see if it likes that. Doesn't like that either. Hey, there we go. It really doesn't like that resolution. All right, we'll carry on with this for now. Let's, um, yeah, let's have a look at the administration packages, software manager, and let's see. Caden Live is there, so let's see if it works. While we're at it, and get a few other bits. Uh, now, if I remember, you have to do weird stuff to get Chrome working, so we won't bother with that. What about OBS? So the good thing about Linux Mint is that it's very, very easy to use. Yeah, see, there's no way I'd be able to SSH into that. It's all these extra bits that... <laughs> it's like that on almost any OS these days. There you go, Caden Live works. Maybe there's a different driver waiting. Uh, okay, hardware. That's just going to launch that again. It's probably installed. What? You don't install GIMP by default? Okay, so. Just try it one more time. One more time. If not, I'll have a look at it another time. Because there's got to be a way of getting it on the correct resolution. Yeah, that's weird. Interesting. Surprised I could do that. Where's all our users? Let's go to administration, users and groups. Yeah. <laughs> okay, restart. See what happens. I don't expect anything to change. That's um, weird. I didn't really expect this to go this way. I said it in one of my previous videos, a lot of things go wrong in my videos I've got to stop saying videos video 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 i will probably reinstall this and try again but that just looks a bit off resolution it, it, that's that's just not that's not right see now even right click isn't working never mind join me in my next video to uh to see what i get up to next uh, but for now take care have a good weekend see you next time